afternoon or evening or whatever time it is because it's been crazy here. I don't know how it's been where you are. <laughs> I have not touched anything on YouTube all day. Not a thing. Nope. Nothing. Sorry, guys. Um, it's crazy here. We got hospice people coming and going. We got family coming and going. Um, taking care of, taking care of the lone wolf over here as much as I can. Um, now I got to set my alarm clock every morning to wake up at six o'clock to give him a pill. Um, so yay, fun. So yeah, that's about it. I'm going to sit down here. Mom's running to the store. She's going to pick up some stuff. I'm going to try and do some work and... Um, the lone wolf is laying down over here. Do you want to say hi? Huh? Do you want to say hi? Hi! <laughs> oh, focus, focus. There you go. Hi. <laughs> what are you eating right now? How are you feeling? Nauseous or anything? With my hands. Do you feel nauseous? No. No? Good. Good. No more nauseous. Feel with my hands now. Oh. <laughs> He's such a jokester, everybody. And here's little Angel just watching him eat. That's his little dog. That's his baby right there. And this little one over here, who weighs about 20 pounds for a chihuahua. All right, I'm going. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye. Where's Mom going? She's going to the store. Here's huh? little Tasha. I gotta go to the store. <laughs> and this goes on at the house. All the time. I'll be back. All the time. Where are you going? To the store. Where are you going? To the store. Why are you going to the store? Because we need stuff. What are we going to the, the store Tasha. for? All the dogs got a Ritz cracker. They're all sharing crackers with the lone wolf. <laughs> okay, good morning, everybody. Um, so the, uh, the bees have left, and I don't think everybody really got to see what was in this box that I opened up because uh, uh, we were just too afraid to get too close to it but uh, yeah here it is it's the beginnings of a, a pretty nice honeycomb and uh, lots of dead bees now it uh, this only took them three days because we had moved this we had opened it looked what was inside and moved it from across here and uh, they put that together in just three days. <laughs> You're too weird. <laughs> hey, you two. What did he do to you? He's snoring away. All right, so I'm on my way to the post office to mail off a care package to, uh, to Val because she left in such a hurry that she didn't take everything she needed. She basically took everything she could fit into her suitcase. And I, we don't know how long she's going to be there. I hope it isn't going to be for too seriously long because uh, I'm going to miss her. I'm driving me crazy miss her. But I um, sent her a couple of dresses because it's getting warm, some sundresses. And uh, she also, I sent her the, um, um, the neighbor mail. We have a whole bunch of uh, mail from for the neighbors and I would rather she opened it than me because uh, I would assume the majority of it is uh, going to be for her and uh, again telling you guys if you wanted to send something to uh, Fred you can send it to our PO box and I'll make sure it gets over there uh, within a couple of days so that's what I'm doing right now and I will see you all when that is done what are we doing here well I need to locate where the new box is going to go you gotta measure them, huh? I was looking at 24 inches. 
for. It's really going to be about right there. Right in the middle, huh? Yeah, to the left of it in here. Yeah. yeah that worked. It'll clear that other box real good there, too. And that's six inches. And the height will be pretty much the same, too, it looks like. Yeah, I want to make sure that they, they are. Should be 18 inches. Well, kind of. <laughs> what is it? Well, the top of it's 17 inches. Yeah, so it's a little low, but... The uh, Americans with Disability Act says it should be 18. Oh, so it's hot enough for them to access. Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Huh. It's kind of weird HR things you learn. Yeah, all kinds of little and then things. nobody listens to you about it. Alright, well, I guess that's so, what we're going to work on then now. And so we can get the fridge in there, right there. And then it'll be a perfect access point for both me and Angie. So this is a neat little box. This is for add-on, which is what we're doing. Uh, I'm just going to take a pencil and trace around it and cut it out the, for the, the, the size of it, except mm. for the tabs, because the tabs need to hold it on the outside. And then you stick it in, and when you s turn the screw, this little flap will pop up, oh. and, it will, and it will hold it to the wall. Yeah, it'll lock it in. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's and really the, simple. The wires just go through the back, and uh. I'm going to run... Just uh, since it's at the end of a run, I just have to run wires from the box to that box. Oh yeah, right around the corner, so that makes it easy. Sweet. All right, trace it to the wall. Kind of looks straight. Mm -hmm. yeah. As long as it's semi-straight. It's gonna be hidden, so I'm not concerned that it's perfect. Yeah. Considering it's a crooked house. So you're going to like fill in this hole over here on this side of the wall? No, it's going to stay there. Oh, okay. So you can still use it. Oh, okay. I didn't know yeah. that. That's yeah, cool. I'm going to replace the socket with a, a, a grounded socket. Okay. And then there's going to be a socket on this side oh, as well. Oh, perfect. That's so awesome. That's exactly what I'll do in the closet. Okay, yeah. Do it in the closet too. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so this, I love this thing. Hopefully. That makes it easy. And we'll drop it into the wall. Oop. There you go. Perfect. And it's the perfect size for the, the box. Yep. Nice. Oh, I'm recording both of you. Yep. Okay. So we're, do we're doing electrical. Yeah, I've already okay. asked where the electrical box is. If anything happens, I know where to turn it off. <laughs> There's one problem with Kevin doing electrical. There's no problems with me doing electrical. He causes holes in walls. Well, no, go. there's no holes at all over and any walls. No hole in the wall. At all. I mean, there's no holes at all. <laughs> <laughs> the cabinet doors are missing off of that cabinet. I took, I took them off. Yep. Hello everybody, so I wanted to stop by and give you guys a little bit of updates on some stuff. Um, one, I did call and report the valet people um, to the corporate office. Um, they apologized profusely. They are going to reimburse the $36 to my father's charge card. And the two people that I was dealing with there will get a stern talking to, I'm sure, but I don't know if anything else will be done. Anyway, that's how that's going to be left. I'm just going to let it go at this point because there's too much else going on that's more important than that. Uh, we're changing up Pa's medicines. Um, he's on a new pain med that he's been on now. F he's had four pills so far. And he only takes one a day right now, which seems to be helping him rather well. It's really, really seems to be keeping the pain level down. Um, he's gone like six, seven, eight hours um, before having to take the Dilaudid for the um, breakthrough pain, which is good, but they don't want us to wait that long. What we're doing right now is they're going to increase that pill 
which is a pain pill for bones specifically. So we're gonna increase that pill every morning. He gets two of them. And um, then when he has those pains, I won't have to give him two Dilaudid, or as he likes to call them, Saladas. Don't ask me why. Um, I can get away with giving him one. And because he was throwing up all day today and half of the day yesterday, instead of giving him a nausea pill when he gets nauseous, he's going to take a nausea pill every morning. And hopefully that will offset that. The other problem we're having is um, constipation. He hasn't had a bowel movement since they did the enema at the hospital. So we have to work on that. So he was taking four stool softeners a day. We're upping that to five a day to see if that does anything. Because we got to keep him his body functioning and that could also be part of the reason that's causing him to throw up is that he's not getting it out through his stool so he's got to throw it up so it's been a long day for him he finally fell asleep a little while ago and which gave me some time to answer some comments but I wanted to at least get on here and give you guys an update on everything I know <laughs> You guys say family comes first and all that. And I know it does. My family does come first. However, you guys are my family too. And I definitely don't want to leave all you guys hanging um, and not do the things that I need to do for you guys. So I'm working very, very hard to try and get to shout outs on Wednesday. And if I do miss anybody during those shout outs, please, Please don't take offense to it. Don't take it personally. Just let me know, and I will fix it. But it's such a beautiful day out right now. Let me show you. Oh, evening, because it's already 7 o'clock at night here. And it is just so nice out here right now. So nice. Mm. That was interesting. Would you just break it open? That works, I guess. <laughs> All right, so you're making a hole for the extra wire for the uh, extension, huh? Yep. Found out where the hot wire is. I'm gonna turn the power off. The top one there. So where'd you learn all this? By doing it yourself, or? Basically. Basically, yeah, just doing it over the years, Google well, searching it. Yeah. Oh. Google search house, that's my old stuff, but since step by step we wiring. turned off all the computers. Yep. Get the old fashioned wiring books, yep. Yeah. You want me to go on the other side and grab it, try to? It's already out of the hole. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah sure is. Cool. See the inner workings of a professional. Really? <laughs> I'd like to see that too. <laughs> Refreshing the uh, the skills a little bit. <laughs> All right. So the first thing that that we know is I need to take those tab things take off. Take the tabs off so that these are independent of each other. That was because so it can uh, do the loop thing like with the you were telling me earlier with the right. power and the light switch. Uh, so, yeah. so the latest thing for these uh, boxes, I don't even have to bend the wires or anything. They just plug right into the. So done. We've got uh, one switched, so you can put a lamp into it. The other, the bottom one is unswitched, so you can keep anything plugged into it. So that switch there. And we have two unswitched over here, so you plug your 
refrigerator into it. Yeah. So guys, we've come to the end of another long day. I know there was not a lot of footage from here. I'm so very sorry about that. But hopefully things will start to slow down a little bit once everybody starts to come and visit and then the visiting is all done. <laughs> and then um, it'll be a little bit slower and easier. And once my dad gets on a regular scheduled pill regimen. So, anyway, I just wanted to come on and say I hope you all enjoyed the video today. If you did, please give us a great big thumbs up. And give us a thumbs up just to try and cheer us all up anyway. And if you haven't already done so, please press that little red subscribe button down below and help your neighborhood community to grow and share this video with absolutely everybody you know. And we will see you all tomorrow. Bye.